Let's talk about the bipolar mood disorder. So what are the bipolar mood disorders? What are the types? And what are the risk factors for those disorders? How to treat the disorder? And what's the typical prognosis of bipolar mood disorder? Those are the points of discussion of this video. So what is bipolar mood disorder? As the name suggests, it has two poles, bipolar, and it's a mood disorder. You have change in mood. The mood can be up, the mood can be down, and those are the two poles. The elevation of mood is also known as a mania. And the depression or down, down mode is known as depression, major depression. So patients with bipolar mood disorder swings back and forth between those two areas of mode, mania, elevated mode, and depressed mode is the depression. There are two classic types of bipolar mood disorder. One is the type one, and you have the type two bipolar mood disorder. In type one bipolar mood disorder, you have a combination of both mania and depression. In type two bipolar mode disorder, however, the patient does not have overt mania, rather has a subdued version, a milder version of mania known as hypomania. So that is what type two bipolar mood disorder is. You have hypomania along with episodes of depression. Now comes to the risk factor. What are the common factors that increases the risk of getting bipolar mode disorder? And the most important one is the family history of similar disorder. Additionally, if you have significant life stresses, such as financial difficulties, physical illness, sleep deprivation, all of those can increase the risk for developing a bipolar mode disorder. How to treat the bipolar disorder? The idea is it depends on the presentation and you treat the symptoms. But the basic principle is whenever a patient presents, bipolar patient presents with depression, you not only give antidepressants, but you also give mood stabilizers. And the classic mood stabilizing agents are the lithiums and the valproate, sodium valproate. Those Agents help stabilization of mood. And in patients presenting with a manic episode, obviously you have to give the lithium or sodium. And along with those, oftentimes patients have psychotic manifestations, delusions, hallucinations. And that's why you also have to prescribe antipsychotics, antipsychotics. And the common antipsychotic drugs used are the olanzapine, quetiapine, and risperidone. Now let's talk about the prognosis. Usually, the relapse rate of bipolar disorder is high. And if someone has one episode, the chance of development of another episode in a year is about 15%. And it increases with each episode. And there is another risk of suicide. And the risk of suicide is around 5 to 10% over the lifetime. 